to do my baby booze and welcome back to my channel for another episode of let's play the sims 4 history legacy come to me come to me to step in man come to your baby just as fast as you can so we're actually starting off with Eve today. She is going to be the one we're playing with. And uh, she has something interesting planned for the actual, what, weekend, I suppose? Yeah, I guess it is Friday. I didn't really even plan for that. But she is going to be going over to Egypt, guys. She got a letter in the mail. Can't really do anything with it now, but she did read it already. Okay, we're that's just, that's just what we're going to say. All right, you know. But yeah, so she is going over to Egypt today. Look at that face by the way oh my god what a mood so yeah she is going over to egypt today because she did get a letter from the queen of egypt herself get off your dang phone i swear to god there was a mod that i had in my folder that, and i never get rid of mods either so it must be like broken or something but i used to have a mod that made it so they wouldn't play with their phones autonomously so she did read a letter uh from the queen asking her to come to egypt because it was very very urgent so that is what we are going to be doing we're not going to be voting that is not something we are doing today. What in the hell? Okay, I thought he was naked. Another thing that happened while we weren't paying attention was she got a little kitty named Salem. This is her witch black cat, as you can probably tell from the name Salem. Actually, it is her familiar. So she has a familiar now. Um, I don't know if we're gonna bring her along. Can you stop going on your phone, please? And thank you. But we are going to go over to Egypt. I guess we'll just fill up Salem's bowl and and then kind of leave without her. I don't really want to risk losing her out in Egypt. I mean, it is it is a very far off land full of unknown, you know, things that can happen to our beautiful little girl who is crying. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're just gonna hug Salem. We love Salem. She really needed um, a companion as well. And, uh, and I thought that this was perfect for her, for a little familiar. So she does have her bags packed already. That is her little bag. It's all ready to go. I think the only thing that she needs to do is go over to her dresser and change her outfit into her traveling clothes because uh, I did give her a little outfit specifically for traveling to Egypt. So why don't you go on over? I have a little bit planned for this for this episode, so I really want to kind of get going as soon as possible. Are you able to hug? Okay, just just don't hug her. Whatever. It's fine. I don't know what she is doing. She's really uncomfortable. Well, if you're uncomfortable, just go eat. Come on now. Don't be weird. But this is Eve's traveling outfit. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? So my little witcheroo is going to head on over to the train station and uh, and, and get off her phone. <laughs> and, uh, and we will see you over at Egypt. Before we hop in to her, you know, kind of like bed and breakfast area, we, I just wanted to show you the map of Egypt really quickly. If you haven't seen my Egyptian mod review, uh, Nando actually created an Egyptian world in replacement of Strangerville. So it's much more developed now. It's no longer ancient Egypt. I mean, it is 1905. So we have lots and lots of things to see. But we are not going to be staying at the castle like those before us have. We are actually going to be staying at this ancient villa. So uh, yeah, we'll see you at the villa. Okay, so I made a mistake when I was traveling. I have this weird glitch where all of my sims are already clicked on when I'm about to travel and then I like unclicked it. I like just went to my household and made sure she was unchecked and I guess that was like the opposite of unchecked and now I have her checked off. So she's with me, I guess, but that's fine. This is our ancient Egyptian villa that we're going to be staying in today. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I actually downloaded downloaded this off of the gallery. Let me show you really quickly. So this is the villa that you can get off of the gallery. It comes with a pyramid in the background, but I figured I have so many of them that I just kind of added a different backyard instead. But this was made by Simsensenal. But yeah, so this is actually a really, really cute build. And if you want it, there it is. Oh yeah, there was, that's right. There was two pyramids in the back. So I added this instead. It's just like a little pool area for her to kind of do whatever she wants to do. So wait, this this isn't residential, is it? Oh no, <laughs> totally residential. Let me go ahead and change this to, I, I'm hoping generic will be okay. Mm, I don't want anyone else to come here though. Well, we'll just put it as generic 
and we'll just make it a private dwelling. So hopefully nobody comes over unexpectedly. So let's take a look at it. Absolutely gorgeous, honey, gorgeous. This is like the little living area quarters. And this actually is functional, which I could go ahead and put some fruit in it if I wanted to. She has so many fish in her inventory. What the hell is going on here? We have this little kitchen over here. And then that goes outside to the little pool area as well. So that's really, really cute. And I love the little design I put in the pool. So adorable. Okay, <laughs> enough with me being really weird. But once you go up these stairs, you are greeted with this upstairs. So this is the little bedroom. So, so cute. Instead of a toilet, we have a bush up here. So <laughs> that's nice. We got all the amenities. So she's just going to kind of go over here and just kind of chill, take care of her needs, relax. Maybe we can have her go ahead and like jump into the pool, do like a swan dive or something. Who cares? I mean, this is your vacation. Do what you want with it like seriously this is more of a vacation to her than anything the queen just wanted to uh to talk to her and i suppose we will do that a little bit later today but we just got here so you know what's what's the fun in you know just going straight to business come on eve show me your best dive Oh, yes, that was beautiful. Wonderful. Little Salem is going upstairs. I wonder what she is up to. No, don't go in the bush. Don't go in the bush. Don't go in the bush. No. Animals never, never listen to me. Go here. But she's just kind of relaxing in the pool. This is amazing weather that Egypt is having today. Look at it. It's so beautiful. We could actually go uh, fishing as well today. Look at that glistening pool. No, we don't need to. We don't need to. But I would really love to like swim in like, you know, like a natural swimming hole like a watering hole or whatever. That would have been really, really cool, but uh, we're not gonna do it. She'll just enjoy her little pool instead. I missed Eve so much too. Since we have our familiar, we should probably give her food and stuff, right? So let's just get her a bowl because I didn't bring one because I didn't think she would be coming with me, <laughs> but we'll we'll just leave her at the villa or something. I don't know. I do have a mod that's like stump for treats and then stump for water so we can actually give her water as well. Because it was like, your pets are probably really thirsty since you never are able to give them actual water. So I guess we'll put down a water one as well. And then she also needs a little litter box. We'll go ahead and put down the rock litter box right out in the foyer. What a nice little view she can have while she takes a crap. So why don't we go ahead and fill this bowl and then fill the bowl with water. She's just seriously relaxing her little butt off, but I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop really quickly. And I'm thinking about noon. We should go over to the palace. Maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe we should just go to the palace tomorrow. And I also wanted to start doing a different system with the years because I feel like, you know, time is moving really, really slowly. And there's just so much I want to do throughout the years. So I was thinking that every day could be a year. Is that a lot? I mean, that might be a lot, but <laughs> I don't know. Cause you know, their, their lives are really short anyway. So, I mean, it really wouldn't, I mean, hers isn't, but you know, it really wouldn't matter that much. She needs some affection. Oh my goodness. Poor little Salem. All right, come on over here and love on your familiar, dude. She can't play with a laser pointer, but we can brush her and we can pet her and we can give her a nice old hug. And then maybe we should go to the bar or something because this pyramid over here is actually a bar that we can go ahead and visit. I know, I feel so bad. Like my saloon is completely gone. All of my Wild West stuff is gone. But you know, I, I had to get rid of the old Egypt in Oasis Springs in order for us to have the Wild West over there. We're just gonna have Strangerville be Egypt from now on. Well, until, you know, it might make sense to change it again. But I thought this would be a really cute little revisit to Egypt since Nando went ahead and gave us this mod that I really, really wanted to play in. Let's have you go ahead and put your traveling outfit. Ooh, maybe we could go ahead and put her short outfit on since it is hot outside. You know, that long sleeved, high collared, long dress is probably not going to do her much good. This is her athletic wear, I'm pretty sure, but it's a lot more suitable for the Egyptian weather. So I suppose, you know what, let's go over to the bar. Let's visit the bar. Here we are at the Fountain Pyramid. I suppose Ariel is our bartender and she is pregante. Oh my God, Ariel, is that Melody? Okay, let's go over to the bar. Can we go ahead and, can you can you get behind the, thank you. So we're gonna need to go ahead and order a drink. Let's order our favorite drink. Where are you going? Get back behind the damn bar, please and thank you. Is there no bartender? Is there seriously no bartender right now? Just make a drink then. 
Jesus. We are going to go for a soft shadow of Ornolino. Of Ornolino? Ariel is really not feeling fit for the job. And uh, I know this was supposed to be our vacation, but uh, it looks like we're going to be making our own drinks for right now. So that's fine. I think, yeah, we're going to go over to the Queen's Palace tomorrow. Salem, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. She came over to sit with me. Um, dude, 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 dude. Oh my God, she's sleeping on the table. You know what? I think it's time to go back to the villa. We had our little drink. She's got a breathtaking balance from drinking the nectar. Complimentary notes create a balance in flavors that can go with anything. Maybe one more drink and then she can, you know, get a little, get a little drunk Reno. Let's order a drink. Order favorite drink. I wonder what that is. <gasps> Girl, what are you doing? Why are you standing up like that? All right, so what is this? What is that? Is that a soda cream cola girl that's your favorite drink and this is cora denny one of you actually submitted her as uh one of the outlaws oh you got some food too i see all right then okay you need to go to the bathroom and then we're going home so why don't you just stop eating i'm done we're done here oh you know what i'm actually curious about is this treasure chest let's go ahead and open the treasure chest i swear to god if you become a skeleton from this i am going to scream but um i just thought that it would be nice oh look no, she got a little bit of a treasure. Okay, we didn't actually explore a temple, but uh, we'll just, you know, pretend that it's fine. He found some wondrous items in the treasure chest. She gained some simoleons and took some treasure, a mystical relic, and some adventure gear and put them in her inventory. So what exactly is new here? Oh, we got the frog. We got the jeweled gold, whatever, froggy thing. And then uh, was the soda new? <laughs> was the can new? Oh my goodness. And then we also got this relic here. That's 143 simoleons worth not too shabby we have four freaking voodoo dolls guys like we have we could come we could bind this to so many people oh my goodness that that that's fun but i'm just gonna have her enjoy the rest of the day maybe swim a little bit more i'm not sure what we're gonna do but uh oh no yep no she definitely wants to go and jump she just kind of started doing that all on her own so i'm just gonna let her enjoy the rest of the day just swim around it is such a beautiful day guys such an absolutely gorgeous day and uh she's just gonna dive and completely fail at it oh skinny dip yes skinny dip no don't swim laps skinny dip we know you want to we know you oh look at her looking around oh my god cute <laughs> all right so there she goes and she is naked okay go ahead and swim some laps then oh no salem got sprayed by a skunk oh my god salem really i am about to send you home on the train by yourself i knew this was gonna happen dude i knew this was gonna happen where are you going scared wander pitifully oh my god this poor cat anyways y'all i think we're going to just chill for the rest of the night if anything else happens i'll show you but uh for right now i just wanted to kind of chill maybe go to bed early and then we are going over to the palace bright and early tomorrow to see what princess or queen kia has in store for us oh wait hold on she's gonna jump again she's gonna jump again oh god oh god oh god how you doing this and she's naked too oh my god all right you got this oh that's gotta be so painful naked man dude Dude, you gotta try harder when you're just in your birthday suit. Oh my goodness. I bet you it was that drink. She's feeling kind of tipsy. Oh, dive disaster. Oh no. She's really sad because it didn't go well. Oh well. All right. Well, we'll see you in the morning, guys. Okay, one more thing before we leave. She just decided to sunbathe out in the open. It's not gonna work for very long though because it is very late, but uh, looks like she's almost gonna fall asleep. She really missed the sun, you guys. Like, can you imagine being a vampire for centuries and then you are able to to do this oh my god she would never ever trade this for being a vampire ever again like she is living it up just being a witch and you know just living her best life so now i promise we will meet back up with you in the morning Good morning. She is still naked. I don't even understand. I don't know why. Like, I never made her put her clothes back on. So I guess she just never spawned them. But old girl is feeling super, super hungry this morning. So we are going to go over to the kitchen area. I don't know why, because she can do this anywhere. But we're going to go ahead and uh, get us some delicioso started <laughs> for some breakfarino. Bre breakfarino? This is me trying way too hard to be cool. Am I cool yet? Am I cool yet? Probably not, though. So let's go conjure up some breakfast delicious all and we
we got some spaghetti. Okay, let's go ahead and eat the spaghetti. Not very breakfast-like, but uh, you know, it's what she wanted, so that's what she gets. Ever feel like eating pasta at 6 a.m. in the nude in Egypt? Hashtag just girly things. So she's just gonna eat her spaghetti, and then we are going to use this bush. Pee like a damn champion. Pee like the champion that you are. And then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, get all dressed up to see the queen today. The queen really wanted to see her. Didn't really disclose why in the letter, but uh, we, we, we're just gonna find that out in person, I suppose. It's been a really long time since we saw the queen, so uh, it'll be good for us. It'll be good. Oh no, her hygiene is kind of low as well. Uh, I don't really, oh, we do have a little bath thing, so we'll we'll go ahead and uh, magic spells. Bergliate? We can, oh, we can steal it. Yes, but no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a bubble bath. Y'all, look up on Google like a pet water mod and you too shall have a pet that drinks water from their dish. Anyways, we're, we're gonna go take this bath and then we will see you at the queen's castle or pyramid or kingdom, whatever. I don't know. We'll see you there. I think Salem just comes with me everywhere I go because she's my familiar right now, so it's fine. Eve has this really, really cute little number that I decided that she was going to wear to, uh, to greet the queen in because uh, she doesn't really have anything fancier than that in her wardrobe and I thought it was pretty, so I decided that is what we're going to do. This is Queen Kia's castle. I ended up putting some doors over here so that we could knock on the doors because that wouldn't really work if we just had this be the front door. So she's going to knock on the door. Where is... <laughs> She's swimming in this tiny little fountain area. Dude, you have nowhere to go. Why are you swimming in that? Bro, get out of here. Get Go here. We need to encourage to follow dreams. Oh, that's sweet. Well, let's tell an unbelievable story. Can you get out of there though? Like, do I need to reset you? No, no, I don't need you going in there too. No, guys, this is not cool. This is not what I intend. Can we like talk somewhere else? And I don't want to wear my swimsuit. Is there anywhere that we could actually, you know what? Let's chat out here. Let's sit and chat on this little uh, couch area over here. Out by the outdoor fountain. Oh no, Kia actually can't go out there. She's she's a vampire, so it's actually not gonna work out well. Eve actually has been forgetting about that little tidbit ever since she decided that she didn't want to be a vampire anymore. Look, she's burning up already. Okay, so we're gonna go somewhere else. Actually, I know just the place. Let's go on the balcony and, and sit and chat over here. Oh my god, so I also forgot to introduce you to the queen's um, family. So this is the queen's new pet, Anubis. This is her doggy. So, so, so cute. And then we have this young man over here that um, I think she uses for more than just a handsome face. She had a, a handmaiden in the ancient times, but you know, she has long since passed away of old age, so she has a new guy to kind of keep keep the grounds from crumbling if you will okay so here's a little interesting tidbit princess kia is actually attracted to eve so there's a thing eve is completely straight as an arrow but uh that that's interesting i didn't know the queen swung it that way so she's gonna recall her mortal life and uh, really the reason that she wanted eve to come was because she was aware that eve ended up turning into a witch and she was wondering if she could cast a spell on her kingdom because the people of egypt have actually been noticing that their queen does not age. She wanted Eve to go ahead and cast a spell. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? She wanted Eve to freaking cast a spell on, you know, her entire population to make it so they forget that she is actually, you know, not aging. She wanted kind of like a little refresher on her civilians, if you will. And this guy keeps going right on in the middle. Let's just be flattering and be like, you know, I'm sorry. I would love to help you. You are amazing. You are you're doing such a great job, honey. But I can't, I can't cast that spell for you. Um, there is no such, there is no such spell that I am aware of currently, and uh, and it's just impossible to do right now. Plus, I haven't even honed on my skills 100%, so it just wouldn't be possible for me right now. And y'all, the queen is not happy about this. She is completely yelling at her. Totally doesn't believe Eve, and Eve is like, I am, sw I swear to God, like I'm not lying to you, and she doesn't believe her. So she's being a little vindictive right now and she's like okay well if you can't do it for me right now then I'll just have to lock you up in my tower until you figure it out oh look at her she's like nah you so yeah that's exactly what she is going to do we are getting kicked out and we're going to the queen's dungeon so once again y'all we have gotten ourselves into quite a bit of a pickle over here on the highest tower is where eve is being held 
captive by the queen of Egypt. Now, the reason she is able to get a, um, away with this is because she's being held captive by these two guards right here. These are two vampires that the queen herself turned. So this is Osiris Ra and this one is Anubis Ra. So these, I think these were like twins or something and she completely destroyed them and turned them into vampires and then um, took over this house. Really, it is, these are the two homeowners here. So this is Alondra Barajas and then this is Abrax Barajas. These are the married couple who lived here before the queen kind of sunk her claws into this property and uh, and they're just as much prisoners here as the other two. And speaking of other two, Eve is not the only prisoner. This is her prisoner room, but she's not the only person here. If you notice, there is one other person here and his name is Vladislaw Strahd. Now Vlad actually came here to Egypt as a young man and the queen wanted to be with him so she turned him and he betrayed her. He didn't want to be with her so she locked him up as well. So these two are just now meeting each other. I wonder if we can get to know him a little bit more. Ask about his day. I mean we are prisoners here together. She's been prisoner so many times to other people. Like this is just like totally just another you know Saturday to her. <laughs> so how did you end up coming here? Like I noticed you're a vampire and he's like yeah you're not afraid of me and she's like oh please I invented what you are. Literally Eve was the very first vampire ever. So uh, she's going to like do an impression or whatever. She's going to be really really nice to him and we're just going to see what's going on. He's just like I've been prisoner here for years. The two vampires below have been keeping me captive. So these guys are just kind of like guarding the uh, stairwell so we can't really do anything. Though this couple here seems to be doing okay. The only person who's ever really able like allowed to go into that room is Alondra because she feeds Vlad. She usually just gives them some lunch and dinner and then goes on her merry way. Like she really can't do anything much herself. He thinks that this is like the perfect opportunity. Oh ask to turn. Vlad is like so what if we like overpower the guard? I can't really do it by myself but if if I turn you into a vampire maybe we can overpower them. And she's like uh no I'm, I'm totally content not being a vampire anymore but um I know a, a spell or two that could possibly help us out. So she's gonna go ahead and, and try to maybe cast a couple spells on the guards and try and get her and Vlad out of here. She's gonna be flattering to him. I really wanna like get to know each other. Compliment Vladislav's body, what? Oh my gosh. Let's discuss interests and get off your phone, please. Just be like, okay, so this is how we're gonna get out of here. This is what we're gonna do, okay? So we're going to sneak out of the door. She actually can teleport, so we can, oh my God, okay, guys, we can teleport. Oh wait, we can't teleport here? Inferni, Delicioso, Gran Delicio. Why, why can't I teleport there? Magic, spells, what? I can't teleport here? Oh my God, okay, but he can, right? Teleport here is missed. I don't know why he wouldn't do it already, but but he's able to teleport. Girl, Salem, can you not? It looks like Salem is actually on the verge of wanting to procreate, if you will. Do you think that he would like us? Oh my God, guys, cause like he's so cute. My little, you know, like actual makeover him, of him is so adorable. He's so cute. And honestly, I kind of do want to flirt. Let's romance. Oh my God, I love you. Uh, no, let's just flirt with him. He's cute or whatever. He's got the same ring as me. Let's flirt with him again and just develop something of a little, you know, a little, you know, a little relationship or something. And we're going to try and develop a little bit of a plan to get out of here. So the guards, they're not down here anymore. Oh my God, where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? Oh, they're over here. One of, one of them is over here threatening the couple. Like if you move, I'll kill you. And then the other one is over here reading a spell book. You're learning how to do a spell. Oh my God, that's not good. Can she teleport over here? Magic spells. Transport to oh my god, she can do it. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is like we'll we'll just say that his teleportation has missed. Just like got D I don't know, like someone cast a spell on him so he couldn't do it anymore, and she's just gonna cast another spell on him to make it so that he can do it again. So they're gonna both get out of here at the same time, okay, and try to see what we can do. So maybe he can do something with like a zombie slayer thing, and then she can just go ahead and like chilio the other one. So he's gonna go to this one and then she's gonna go out here. Transportalate 
Kate over here, and then he is going to go over here as Mist. Okay, so we're just gonna let them do this. They're gonna work together to get the hell out of here, because uh, this was not in her plans, honey. She did not want to go ahead and do this. So he's gonna use his vampirism to defeat one, and she'll use her spellcasterness to defeat the other. He's like, I finally got out of that little room, and freaking Anubis is like, uh-uh, you trying to get out of that? Mm -mm, no. So uh, before he really has the chance to do anything to me, I'm gonna go extreme violence, and we're gonna go deadly interactions, slay vampire. There's a little vampire option. So he's gonna go ahead and slay this vampire. Get it, get it, get it. Please, 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 please let it happen. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. <gasps> Whoa, oh my God. What the hell? He did it. And there's so much blood. Anubis Ra has been slayed. You gotta slay him. Okay, so now we're gonna have Eve go over here and she's gonna use her magic to transport Talalate. And uh, and she's gonna go over there and I, I don't think she's gonna slay him because her magic doesn't really call for that, but we can do something just as good so that we can get away. So we're going to go to magic and Inferniate. Do, would Inferniate kill a vampire? I wonder, let's see if it would. If it doesn't, we'll just Chilio him and he will be frozen and won't be able to go anywhere. So go ahead, girl, and set this vampire on fire. You're going to get up so you can catch on fire. Thank you. Thank you. So hopefully this actually works. Nope, didn't actually work. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's going to come for me. He's going to come for me. Okay. No, we're, we're just going to chill out. Chilio, Chilio him instead. I wish that would, like, actually kill a vampire, to be honest. That'd be really fun. Why is this random rose bush just sitting? here that's so strange yes so he is frozen solid so both her and vlad are gonna get out of this dang house and uh they're gonna escape together i think she did find a new love though guys what do you think do you think her and vlad could really be something oh my god that'd be so cute and that's gonna be it for me today you guys i really hope that you all enjoyed please let me know in the comments down below if you did and i will see you all in my very next video bye loves Mm-hmm.